hello everyone welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel if you're new here i'm queen esther if you've been here from the start <laughs> welcome back all right so oh my son just brought me these flowers i have a few videos to make because my phone was just running out of space so you're gonna see me be uploading a lot of videos all right also before i get in this video i keep forgetting I'm doing one and one again, prophetic prayer and encouragement. You could book your session with me. I will leave the link in the description box. Now let's get into the word. This word is about Ruth. Ruth, Ruth, Ruth. For all who are in the season of marriage, it is your season for marriage, right? The Lord told me to read the book of Ruth this morning. So, you know, I read it all the time. You know how you read stuff all the time. Then all of a sudden you go back and read it you get a new revelation all right so i was reading and i heard the lord say root 2 verse 5 all right root 2 verse 5 i think that's what it is boaz asked his young servant who was who was foreman over the farm hands who is this young woman where did she come from right why did he ask that question there's like so many many women in the field but ruth stood out the lord pointed out that to me she was different her appearance was different she stood out from the others right the lord wants you to stood out to, to stand out and the lord said to me this morning your appearance do matter you know how man is yeah uh if it, they, they, they go with the eyes and stuff not that it's just about flesh but not because it's a kingdom spouse the father said your appearance do matter he wants you to love on yourself and take care of yourself all right another thing as i was reading he said um verse eight to nine right then boaz spoke to ruth Listen, my daughter, from now on, don't go to any other field to glean. Stay right here in this one and stay close to my young woman. Watch where they are harvesting and follow them and don't worry about a thing. I've given orders to my servant not to harass you. When you get thirsty, feel free to go and drink from the water bucket that, sh that the servant had filled. Okay? And I heard the Lord say, Um... It was all a part of the plan. <laughs> he's never late and he's never on, and, he, and he's never early. He's always on time. But then I kept reading 11 to 13 and it says 10 to she said she dropped to her knees then bowed her face to the ground. How how does this how does this happen that you should pick me out and treat me so kindly? Me a foreigner. That's why she asked. Excuse me. I'm making a video go sit down all right and Boaz answered I've heard all about you heard about the way you treated your mother-in-law after the death of her husband and how you left your father and mother and the land of your birth and have come to live among a bunch of total strangers God reward you well for what you've done and with a generous bonus beside from God to whom you've come seeking protection under his wings and the Lord said to me she had respect and he said to treat people with respect so 11 to 13 she had respect and the lord said to treat people with respect and then he went on and say she humbly received and she didn't act like uh what should i say she didn't act prideful you know she dropped to her knees and she was grateful and she received with grace some of you do not know how to receive the lord wants you to learn there you go. oh thank you all right i'm making a video Wait, your ears. Uh, not right now all right Mommy, go, go. it's a wish okay I so the lord said you some of you would have said oh no thank you i'm good or you know you wouldn't receive what what was was offering her with with grace some of you would have been prideful and not take what he was offering all right <clears throat> and where was i sorry so and then i went on reading rule three verse three to four all right so 
it said right here, Ruth um, Nehom told Ruth to take a bath, put on some perfume, get all dressed up and go to the threshing floor. But don't let him know you're there until the party is well under. Yeah, I didn't even read that part. But take a bath, put on perfume, get all dressed up. And the Lord kept saying dress to impress. Okay? Dressing is a part of it. Your appearance is a part of it. All right? If you do can you please stop interrupting the video? Okay, you go back in now. All right? Sorry about that. So, dress to impress, okay? Smell nice. He wants you to put some effort into it, into your appearance, into your, what you wear, how you smell, and things like that, because it's all a part of the process, all right? <laughs> and another thing he pointed out to me when I was reading it, you see how Ruth, um, mother-in-law told her to go to the threshing floor. Some of you would have been prideful about it, like, uh, I ain't going to no threshing floor, I ain't going to go lay out no man feet and stuff like that. <laughs> It's funny, I read this, this thing so many times and all of a sudden the Lord kept giving me revelation this morning, right? So, I, when I read that, the threshing floor part, I heard the Lord say, swallow your pride, okay? Some of you would not have gone to the threshing floor. Okay, so, after this whole thing, they got married, you know, the feel and the whole story, you could read it for yourself. They got married and gave birth to, 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 to Obadiah. Is that his name or Obed? Yeah. But, you see, people think this kingdom marriage is just about the flesh. No, it's not. Because this marriage, he gave, when they got married, Ruth gave birth to Obed. And Obed was the father of Jess. And Jess, and, and David is the son of Jess, okay? And Jesus is from King David bloodline. Like, you see, this, this was all a plan. Like, people think you just get married and that's it. No. When you get married, it's for his kingdom purpose, okay? At the first part, Nehomi was complaining that God didn't like her and stuff like that. But if none of that happened... No. Relax, okay? If none of that had happened, then... Excuse me. If none of that didn't happen, then Nehomi wouldn't need to go back to her hometown and then this whole root meeting Boaz would have never happened sometimes God allows some things to happen and we don't understand and we question it all right but it's all working for your good all right you don't know what the enemy meant for evil the Lord turning into good you don't know what his plan is sometimes he tell you to do some things sometimes he makes some things happen to us and we complain and wonder and then at the end we see the result like wow now it made sense see good thing I you get what I'm saying so yeah you the, this is the um for the people who's getting married he really wanted want you to go study root so he could give you more revelation but um for your own self all right remember you need to humble yourself you need to have respect yeah. for people you need to have respect for people you need to learn how to receive you need to work on your appearance you, you, you need to get rid of that pride, okay? And you need to just be obedient to whatever God is telling you, even when it doesn't make sense. Because this whole root story, like, who knew? Who, who didn't know she was going to work in a field? Because she was just a kind, loving person. And because of her kindness to help her mother-in-law, all this happened to her. But it was already a part of God's plans. You get what I'm saying? So, yes. This is your season. You need to study the book of Ruth. And that's the word for today. Go and read it for yourself. All right. Okay. And actually, I actually heard the Lord say this is. All right. You know what? I'm going to end this video right here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video with somebody who needs to hear it. Bye.